The flip side of board games is sponsored in part this month by Peacekeeper Games, publisher of the puzzly game Gearworks. Take on the role of budding inventors intent on proving your mettle. Play your gears carefully as clever card placement helps you control areas of the board and reward the parts you need to build fantastical contraptions and score points at the end of the game. It's an interesting marriage of steampunk and Sudoku. A special bundle is currently available on their website, which includes a free deluxe playmat. And a new Kickstarter campaign will be running from March 12 to 31, 2024. Go check it out. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome. Happy Thursday. Mike has already dropped in and said he might join us for a bit of this. Such a wonderful gym, this game. And Halls of Montezuma is coming soon. I did notice that. I was poking around the Fort Circle Games website this morning, seeing what's going on. Howdy, howdy. Tripoli is fun. Is fun as a solo game. Very cool. That That is cool. I have heard a lot of people say that. David, you may have been one of the ones that uh, has already told me that. But... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm probably assuming that Bushman's going to be here. Uh, Kevin Bertram is here. I wonder who he might be. Kevin Bertram. So, thank you for joining us, Kevin. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I will do uh, justice to your baby. I will hopefully <laughs> do well. Uh, but, dice are involved. So, um, yeah... Uh, we'll see. Dice usually hate me, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I have already done a uh, kind of like a mock run through. I went through 1805 earlier this morning uh, on my lonesome. I did watch um, um, b -b 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 Beyond Solitaire's uh, playthrough from a while ago. I know I'm a little bit behind the curve here, but uh, um, I watched uh, Liz's uh, little. Uh, video that she made about it well a little it was about 29 minutes so that was a good size video but watch that after i read the rule book a couple of times so i think i've got a pretty good handle on the solitaire mode but i'm 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 usually a forgetful person so um but i'll do the best that i can uh to try to keep everything on the up and up as things go the solitaire version is a a pretty procedural thing. I think it's a good, I think it's well designed. I was playing it earlier. I had a good time. It was tense in a couple of spots. Didn't know what to do in a couple of other spots. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I think this is a largely um, unknown um, period of history uh, where the, um, where the, 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 the peoples of, of Northern Africa and America really kind of uh, uh, rattled some horns, if I can put it that way, clashed horns. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see how everybody in chat's doing. Kabuki Kid is here. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Matthew Vinson, hola. Hello, hello. Uh, let's see here. I backed Halls of Montezuma as well. Looking forward to it. A game based on the Battle of Chapultepec. Sounds interesting. Keep the back page of the Tripoli rulebook handy. It is essential for solo play. I realized that as I was watching Liz's uh, playthrough a while ago, uh, from a while ago. So I will be doing that. I do have it right here. I have everything out of the box. Um, the only thing that's in this box right now is a few plastic baggies for the stuff. But we're going to be hitting it. Uh, BoardGameGeek.com. BoardGame. So there you go, Barbary Pirates. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, keep the back page of the Tripoli rule book. Read that, got it right here. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty savvy on on what's going on here. But let's go ahead and set the mood, shall we? Um, it comes with this little uh, letter that was sent from Thomas Jefferson to Yusuf Karamanli. Uh, Pasha and Bay of Tripoli, May 21, 1801. Great and respected friend. 
The assurances of friendship which our consul has given you and our sincere desire to cultivate peace and commerce with your subjects are faithful expressions of our dispositions, and you will continue to find proofs of them in all those acts of respect and friendly intercourse which are due between nations standing, as we do, in the relations of peace and amity with each other. Period. That was all one sentence. We have lost some of our ability to communicate. I I swear we have. Anyway, at the conclusion of our treaty with you, we endeavored to prove ourselves contented with it by such demonstrations as were then satisfactory to you. And we we disposed to believe that in rendering into another language those expressions in your ire of the 25th of May last, which seem to imply expectations inconsistent with the faith of that transaction, your intentions have been misconstrued. On this supposition, we renew to you sincerely assurances of our constant friendship and that our desire to cultivate peace and commerce with you continues firm and unabated. We have found it expedient to detach a squadron of observation into the Mediterranean Sea to superintend the safety of our commerce there and to exercise our seamen in nautical duties. We recommend them to your hospitality and good offices should occasion require their resorting to your harbors. <laughs> Woo! Uh, we hope that their appearance will give umbrage to no power for while we mean to rest the safety of our commerce on the rest resources of our own strength and bravery in every sea. We have yet given them in strict command to conduct themselves towards all friendly powers with the most perfect respect and good order, it being the first object of our solicitude to cherish peace and friendship with all nations with whom it can be held on terms of equality and reciprocity. I pray God, very great and respected friends, that he may have you always in his holy keeping. Thomas Jefferson. Wow. The words he used to convey a message that <laughs> is pretty stinking pretty stinking strong. That's amazing. Not only does it come with that little little jewel, but it also comes with uh books like this. These are these are the kinds of things that I love that games do sometimes. And Fort Circle Games is all about the history and, and the education and all that kind of stuff. But this is an entire, um, like, historical pamphlet on the entire thing that's what's going on here. And I just, I love it when games do this. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, great thing. I'm not going to read the whole thing. That, that would uh, probably uh, push the boundaries of people watching the stream. <laughs> so... That is the way it goes. Love historical games. Kabuki Kid says, Matthew Vincent, Lieutenant Presley O'Bannon is the big jarhead hero from this war. Thank you, Matthew. Matthew, appreciate that. Um, So fun when historical nuggets like this are in the box or book. Pretty eloquent. Pretty eloquent indeed. Thomas Jefferson has a real pretty mouth. Dude, why you got to make it awkward, bro? Come on, man. Did I hear a banjo? Nope. All right, so as you may have deducted from the letter that Mr. Jefferson wrote, uh, the Tripolitanian government, um, this is a conflict (laughs) uh, between the Barbary pirates because uh, these Tripolitan uh, corsairs are going to be trying to uh, basically take our... Uh, we have 12 gold coins over here. They're made out of wood, but they're painted gold, but they're to represent 12 gold coins. And basically this is um, representing the amount of money that the, the that America, the United States of America, are spending on these operations over here to protect our commerce interests uh, and to um, uh, basically have that show of force. So this is how much money it's costing us. Now, what the pirates are going to want to do is they're going to be doing pirate raids out here in the open Mediterranean Sea. And whenever they get a successful raid, uh, for however many successes they get on that raid, they'll be able to get 
uh, one gold coin for each of those uh, captured merchant vessels. If they are able to capture a grand total of 12 merchant vessels, then they will automatically win the game. Um, I am simply trying to uh, thwart that. There are a couple of other game uh, endings. Let me go ahead and uh, read those because, like I said earlier, um, my brain isn't always there. All right, so we can win. The Americans can win. I'm wearing this shirt on purpose. We are the Americans. Uh, they win the game by either forcing the tr uh, Tripolitan player uh, to sign a peace treaty. Uh, the peace treaty is one of the cards in the deck, and there are several conditions, uh, I think three conditions that have to be met for that card to be able to be played. So either we can win the game by pl being able to play that card. Um, oh, I'm sorry, there are four. Uh, so it has to be the fall of 1805 or later in order to play the treaty card. Uh, all three potential Tripolitan allies have to be at peace. So basically, we can tell that they're at peace if there are no Corsairs in their harbors. Um, and the city of Dern must be captured by uh, Hammett's army. And then finally, there must be no Tripolitan frigates in the harbor of Tripoli. So here we have some Corsairs but not frigates. Frigates are the big dogs. Corsairs are the little yappy dogs that can still hurt you if they really want to. Uh, so that is one way that we can win. The other way that we can win is by basically capturing Tripoli. And in order to capture Tripoli, we have to play the card Assault on Tripoli. And then we have to eliminate the Tripolitan Navy in naval combat and then eliminate the Tripolitan army in ground combat. This has to happen, and uh, it cannot be played before the fall of 1805. So those are the two ways that we can win. There are no less than um, th two ways. There are two ways. No, I'm sorry. There are three ways. Uh, the Tripolitan uh, player acquires 12 gold. That's the first way. We already talked about that. Second, if they sink only four American frigates. Hmm? Four American frigates get sunk, we lose. And then finally, if the Tripolitan player eliminates Hammett's army. Hammett's army won't come into play until later on in around 1804, I believe. Uh, yeah, so there's some time that's going on here. So let's go ahead and get down to the board. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Pirate Smackdown. Corsairs are speedy. Yes, they are. Speedier. Uh, if I remember correctly, the treaty stipulated that the U.S. government could not ban the Muslim religion in the U.S. Ah, huh, that's interesting. Uh, Jefferson would never have gone for a ban anyway. Uh, unconstitutional anyway, so an easy win in a treaty. Yep. So that's cool. All right, well, um, we're going to get down to the table. Let me go ahead and show it up for you. Uh, because <clears throat> component quality is pretty good. Uh, now, Four Circle Games is a smaller game, a small, smaller publisher, so uh, just understand that. Um, and as a smaller publisher, they have to, you know, they're not making as large print ones, I would imagine, um, so prices are going to be a little bit higher, but component quality is good uh, for a game like this. Um, it's not chintzy, uh, it's not flashy either, uh, but it, it allows you to focus on the conflict without poor aesthetics getting in the way. And that's what I like about it. Uh, the dice are nice. I love rounded. Uh, I love the size of dice, first of all. Um, and uh, these are the, the size of dice that I always use with my 40K armies. Um, and I love rounded corners. I just like the way they roll better. Um, I like the fact that there are two different uh, sizes of ships out here um, in combat, just while we're there. Uh, the big old uh, frigates are going to roll two dice in combat, and the Corsairs on both sides are just going to roll one die in combat. You have to hit on sixes. Sixes are the only thing that matter, except for when the pirates are doing pirate raids on the merchant ships. They are able to uh, grab coins on fives or sixes, but everything else is sixes in combat, which is pretty tough. Uh, I've already found out this morning, but um, I think it's pretty cool. 
So <clears throat> in the solo game, this is basically set up about the same way as you would in a two-player game with the caveat being I think there are two less uh, infantry units in these two ports and in uh, Trip. No, I think Tripoli has four to start with. Um, but uh, Tripoli only starts with four uh, Corsairs in a regular two-player game, but in a single player, it starts with five here. And you also start with four and four over here. Uh, no matter whether you're playing the regular two-player or the solo, uh, two uh, Tripolitan Corsairs go over here to represent Murad Rees uh, being held over here. And these uh, are all kind of here um, peacefully hanging out because this uh, Gibraltar is actually controlled by the British. And so nobody wants to... Uh, act a fool in front of the British. So we're all just kind of hanging out over here, nice and peaceful like. These two yellow frigates right here represent uh, Swedish help uh, that could be called into, um, into play pretty early. Uh, and the reason it will be pretty early is because they're only going to be around for uh, until about 1803, I believe, because uh, the, um, uh, the bad guys over here have a card that says Swedish pays tribute. So if in 1803 or later, there are still these Swedish frigates out there, then um, they're going to go away. And uh, that is actually uh, pretty bad because they're going to get two gold coins from that. And they're going to get rid of my two Swedish frigates. So we're probably going to get them out there pretty quick. All right. So this is a card-driven game. So uh, a lot of the cards that we have in your hands are going to trigger different kinds of events. If a card is used for its event, you'll see at the bottom here, uh, it, it, it could tell you if it's red text, basically, that it's going to leave the game. So some of the cards that are in play can only be used once. Uh, and then they're going to go away. There are other cards in the game, however, that have no text on the bottom of the card down there. So uh, when you play them, they just go into a regular discard pile. But if it says if you play this as an event, then it's removed from the game. If you don't play it as an event, though, if you just discard it to do something else in the game, which is something you can do, it does go into the discard pile. So that's something for you to uh, take into effect there. But um, a lot of the cards are just play them and you can keep them around, but some of them are also uh, get rid of them. And um, then, you know, it'll have victory conditions. Uh, so the treaty card here, as I was showing you earlier, and the assault on Tripoli, both of these have stars at the bottom showing that, hey, if you accomplish this, you're going to win the game or you're not. You're going to lose. One of those two. So we're going to put those back in there and shuffle up. At the beginning of the game, um, <clears throat> there are uh, several cards that are placed face up, and these are called core events. So these are going to basically uh, trigger as soon as they're able to trigger and uh, or as soon as you want them to trigger. Um, but uh, And then you have a hand of cards that you'll be able to use either for their event value or to uh, basically just do um, something in the game. Uh, if I discard a card, then it's going to allow me to um, move uh, up to two frigates, or I can discard a card to um, build a gunboat over here in Malta. So those are the two things that you can do there. Um, if the, uh, the, the, the Tripolitan forces here discard a card, then they're basically going to be raiding or building. Um, and, uh, so it just depends on, we'll have to, like has already been said in the comments section, we're going to have to consult the back of the, uh, rule book to see what happens when we have to play a card from the deck. So, um, the game is carried out in a number of rounds. Uh, so each round will be a year, 1801, all the way to 1806. If neither side has accomplished any of their victory conditions by the end of 1806. The game's just going to end in a draw. But each year is going to have four season phases. Uh, so I'll take a turn in the spring. Uh, the Tripolitans will take a turn in the spring. My turn, their turn, my turn, their turn, my turn, their turn. And then this will advance. This will go back to this. I'll draw up to six cards. I can only keep a maximum of eight in my hand, though. So if I have 
more than eight after I draw up six, I'll have to discard down to eight, uh, and then so forth and so on. Once we get to, I believe it's 1804, my deck will be out, um, and in a two-player game, both of your decks will be uh, out, and you'll basically reshuffle your draw piles, uh, your discard piles at that point, and draw up a hand of six. So when you discard some of those cards, you will see them come back again later on in the game. Uh, so there you have it. These frigates here will basically, when we move there, it will come into play um, in the uh, Gibraltar um, uh, patrol zone, and that's what these areas are, patrol zones. Then you also have harbors, which are the bigger darkened circles that are here and here. A number of different things that you can do during the game. You can uh, bombard. Uh, you can do naval bombardments. Uh, you can do naval battles inside the harbors. Um, so it's, it, it's, it's actually a pretty smooth system. And uh, I had a lot of fun early this morning, so I'm hoping that uh, I'll have a lot of fun here too. But we'll have to see. Missed the start. Has Sam played this or is this a cold run? Not a cold run. I did do, I played through 1805 earlier before I had to, uh, before I had to set up lights and cameras and all that other kind of stuff and kind of get the shot set on the board and all of that good things. Um, so I have done that. I've read the rule book a couple of times and then I've also uh, watched a uh, couple of rounds of uh, from Liz Davidson over at Beyond Solitaire earlier this morning. So I th it's it's not an absolute cold run, but uh, it's it's pretty close. This is my second uh, go. <sighs> Got my coffee going. Uh, let's see here. Yep, Warhammer 40K. Mr. President, the American presidency 20, 2001 to 2020 is the GMT game you were asking about, Aunt Matthew. Ah, okay. There you go. Warhammer Bucket of Dice. That is correct. Uh, the game is a hardcore table hog. Uh, thank you. I thought Warhammer sound off. Oh, uh, sorry. was just mentioning Warhammer because of the dice comment. Yep, that's all it was. Uh, you want a lot of dice, that name. Yep. Needs a Teflon president. Stick Slick Willy, uh, Tricky Dick expansion. Hmm, interesting. Oh man, a simulation of running Nixon's presidency. LOL. Love Liz. Yep, she's a good one. Um, you, she used to, uh, when I was with the Dice Tower, she used to be a contributor for uh, Throw Punch Lunch. Uh, she was my solo solo gaming correspondent, as I put it that way. Uh, and uh, we, became, we became pretty good friends back then, but uh, she's done very well since. Uh, Spurs fan is here. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Lewis. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so uh, the, the game always starts with uh, the Americans going first in each of the different rounds. So there is that. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to be able to do something on my turn. And then on the um, Tripolitan phase, we're basically going to check each of these cards one by one to see if they can be played. And uh, there are certain things that will happen. For example, when we get here, five Corsairs check. We'll check to see if there are five Corsairs in Tripoli. And if there are, they're going to try to do a raid every single turn. So um, what part of my responsibility in the game is to try to get over here and curb some of that piracy that's going on so that... Um, it'll take them longer to get, uh, you know, to get their victory condition of getting these 12 coins. But some of these battle cards right here are going to be played in certain conditions. For example, this one says playable when making a uh, pirate raid with the Tripolitan Corsairs, roll three additional dice. So uh, if you check the back of the thing here, though, it actually does say that uh, for the battle cards for Happy Hunting, we play that on the first Tripolitan pirate raid. So that's going to be played when, whenever the first time they do that. Uh, this one here, it says, if a Tripolitan pirate raid has been just been successful, place one Tripolitan Corsair in the harbor. So uh, the merchant ship was confiscated and converted into a Corsair. Corsair. So it's possible um, that in that first raid that uh, Happy Hunting has done, then uh, this, this card is also going to be played. Uh, so it just depends on what we can do and how we can do it. So let's go ahead and um, do this. So um, I think we're going to do... 
Um, ba -ba -ba. Okay, so this card right here, uh, send in the Marines. This is a card that we are not going to be able to uh, play for quite some time. So I'm going to go ahead and discard it in order to move to... Um, in order to move to frigates. Now, when you're moving frigates, they can go from any location to any other location. Uh, so I can move them from this place over here, out here to uh, the, uh, man, I keep forgetting the name of that uh, patrol zone. Sorry, geez, Louise. So I'm gonna move it out here because when these Corsairs try to do raids, there is, you can make an interception roll. Uh, so basically what's going to happen here is these guys are going to try to sail past me. I'm going to get some volleys. They're faster than I am, so I'm not going to be able to stay up with them, but I can try to hit some of them as they sail by. So I'm going to be able to roll two dice for every frigate that's here. Um, so, uh, that's why I moved them over here, but that's all I can do on my turn. I discarded a card, moved two frigates over to, uh, uh, you know, try to make sure that these guys don't go too hog wild. And now it is uh, the Tripolitan Forces turn in the spring of 1801. So we go over here, uh, Moraid Reese breaks out. It says, move the two Tripolitan uh, Corsairs from the harbor of Gibraltar to a harbor of Tripoli. Well, if we look at the back of the uh, card here, it says, play if there are no frigates in the Naval Patrol Zone of Gibraltar, or if it is winter of 1801. All right, so <clears throat> we don't, uh, we play it if there are no frigates here, or it is the winter of 1801. So I've basically got four rounds before uh, that I can try, I, I wanna try to keep these guys here at least. If I can do something else to get rid of them, I definitely wanna try to do that. Uh, but I can't attack them because Britain's watching and we need to obey our, uh, you know, behave ourselves over there. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So they can't do this one. Uh, Constantinople sends aid. Play if Hammett's army has been captured, has captured Derny, which that hasn't happened. So that can't be played. Uh, pirate raids with the Corsairs from the uh, harbor of Tripoli and the Corsairs from... So this one could be played, but it probably won't be because uh, in 1804... Play if two allies of Algiers, Morocco, uh, Algiers, Morocco, or Tunis are active. None of them are, so we're not going to be playing this one. Uh, these guys, they're not out here yet, so that's not going to be played. So we go straight to the five Corsair check. Now it says if there are five or more Corsairs in the harbor of Tripoli, Tripoli performs a uh, pirate raid. Do not discard this card. All right, so these guys are going to stay in, 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 uh, intact throughout the entire game. They're just going to tell you what to do in certain instances. And these are only used in the solo mode. Uh, so here we go. Uh, these guys here, five ships, are going to try to make uh, pirate raids out here in the Mediterranean open seas. But as they sail through this patrol zone, we get to roll some dice on them. So I'm going to be able to roll four dice, two for each frigate. And I might, let me see, do I have a card? I don't think I do. Uh, I don't have the right card. There is a card in the deck that allows you to roll some extra dice whenever you're doing an interception roll, but um, I don't have it right now. So I'm just gonna roll. I need sixes. Hopefully I get some sixes. Do I get some sixes? Nope, no sixes. Well, that's how this is gonna go, it looks like. Um, so they have uh, all made it out to sea. So what are they gonna do? This one? says playable when making a pirate raid. Roll three extra dice. So we would normally be rolling five dice. Now we're gonna roll an extra three dice. This could be really freaking bad. Okay. Um, fives or sixes. Oh, wow, that was actually not bad at all. Only two. I mean, that's, that's bad, don't get me wrong, but now they have two. And it was a successful raid, so now we can do this, and that will add another Corsair back here, which is actually, that's the bad part of this whole thing. So that is their turn. Wow. Okay, that's not cool. Anyway, that's the end of spring 1801. We move to summer 1801. So these two have been played, and since they were played, uh, as a battle card, then they are both removed from the game. So that's only going to happen once, but th that was, you know, nasty enough. 
Uh, let's see here. Okay, well, um, uh, since there are now six ships out here, we're calling Sweden and we're like, hey, y'all, we need some backup. So two Swedish frigates are going to enter the fray. And these Swedish frigates are basically here to help with piracy only. They're not going to uh, take part in any naval battles. They're not going to... Um, uh, I can't move them or anything like that. They're just here to help against those, uh, uh, whatchamacallits, those uh, pirate raids. So, um, now, this was used for its event. After playing it as an event, this card is removed from the game. So, that can only happen once. They're not going to come back if they ever get killed. All right, so that is my summer 1801. Now, we go over here. Um... There's still somebody here, and it's not winter 1801 yet, so that card doesn't get played. Neither does this. Neither does this. And uh, it's not 1803 yet, so we don't play this one either. So now we go five Corsairs check. Yes, there are. There's actually six. But, so they're going to try to do another raid. But now we've got four uh, ships out there. And goodness gracious, I wish I had that card. Knowing that the card is in there is what's killing me. All right, so um, the Swedes are going to get two dice each. The Americans are going to get two dice each. So that's eight dice. Really hope we can make up for last turn a little bit here. And of course, what in the freaking world? Um, apparently we are asleep at the wheels. Goodness gracious. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, because they don't have that extra die out here. So that's not happening. Uh, this is a land battle. This is a interceptor roll that includes an American frigate. Uh, I guess we could play this one, right? Let's see, do we want to though? Um, says, draw one card. Nah, probably not. I don't think that's wanting to be played. Let me make sure that I'm not supposed to be playing it. Um, play on the first Tripatolin of 1805 or 1806. All right, so that's not going to be played until we get over here. All right, here we go. Fives or sixes. One. All right. I guess that's not bad. Goodness gracious, I've got to turn my rolling around somehow, some way, shape, or form. It's got to happen. All right, so now it comes to fall 1801. And uh, there is really not much I can do here. Um, uh, so what I think I'm going to do, because I need to keep that guy here to keep him over there for this turn at least, because we put him over here, and oh my goodness, we have troubles, but you know we need to try to get rid of some of these guys first. So what are we going to do? We're going to put um, we're going to play early de deployment, and this one says take one American frigate from the following year of the year uh, turn track and place it in any naval patrol zone. So we're going to take this right here and put it right there. Uh, and that goes into the discard pile because it doesn't have any of that red text at the bottom. And now it comes back to them. None of this can be played. Five Corsair check. Yes, unfortunately. But now we've got a whole truckload of people out here. Hopefully we can do something this time. Goodness gracious. Six dice from the Americans. Four dice from the Swedes. Come on, people. Try loading the cannons before you roll, David! You be quiet. All right, here we go. Load the cannons. Did we load? Okay, somebody loaded the cannons. The Swedes. The Swedes loaded the cannons this time. Thank you, uh, uh, Swedish people. Firing. Uh, good. Look at that. Look at that. What? Five ones and a two. Five ones and three twos, and a three. I I told you, dice hate me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one comes out. Now we got to roll five dice for these dudes. My goodness, I'm going to lose the game on this. 
fives and sixes. Oh, three. Okay, well, I'm halfway to losing now. There we go. If I can get it, if, if they get another stack like that, we're done. Isn't that special? All righty then. Okay, all right. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Woo! All right, now it's winter, 1801. So, this is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to uh, discard a card. Mm, I could. I could do a naval battle, I think. Do I want to do that? Because I could move up to four. Hmm. Well, um, no, I don't think so. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move these guys over here. And um, they are going to be there. I'm gonna, um, I can move two. Should I move another one over there? I'm rolling really badly. Yep, let's do that. I'm going to move two over there because I've still got three over here. Hmm. Or maybe I'm rolling too many dice. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> All right. So that's my turn. Uh, oh, uh, so that's my turn for the winter. Winter 1801, uh, Murad breaks out. So it says, move the two Tripolitan uh, Corsairs from the harbor of Gibraltar to the harbor of Tripoli. Any American frigates in the naval patrol zone of Gibraltar may first uh, make an interception roll. So we're going to do that. We get uh, two dice each, so that's six dice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Come on, just two sixes. Please? Please? How about no? Uh, all righty then. Goodness gracious. Good night in the morning. That one's done. Uh, but that's the one thing that happens on that turn. So now we go back to spring, and we're at spring 1802. Um, I'm going to draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I've got three in my hand. So I've got nine cards all together. I've got to get rid of one of them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of, uh, I'm going to get rid of burn the Philadelphia. And that means I've got eight cards in my hand. Um, ho, ho, ho. That's nice. Okay. That's good to have. That's also good. There's the card I wanted. Um, oh, yes. Yes. I like it. I like it a lot. All righty. Well, that'll help. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So I'm good to go. So what am I going to do? 1802. Well, first things first. We have got to, they're rolling one, two, three, four, five, six. No, seven. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to, uh, We're going to we're going to discard this card and we're going to move two frigates over here. That's what we're going to do because we've got to stem this tide here. We got to get rid of some of those corsairs. Hopefully, goodness gracious! All right, Constantinople sins laid doesn't happen. Pirate raid with the corsairs. Uh, no, none of them's out here. 
1803, it's not 1803 yet. Five Corsairs, yes. And in Deedly Doodly. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, um, uh, okay. So, what we're going to do here, first of all, is play when making an interception roll. Each American frigate can roll three dice instead of two. So we've got uh, seven, eight, nine, and then two, four from the Swedes. Come on, people. Come on. <laughs> Brave. David, you're on fire today, man. Bold strategy. Sink the pirates by overloading their ships with gold. One for nine? Seriously. One for nine? But I will say that is the first one I've destroyed. Oh, man. What are my soldiers doing out there? Yar, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Fives and sixes, here we go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> three, another stack. Nine for 12. I am three fourths of the way to losing now. And we really haven't even had a battle yet. Oh, man. That card was a one-shot wonder that did absolutely nothing. All right, I'm telling you now, if I lose this year, we're starting over and playing again because this is just my stupid luck. This has nothing to do with the game. Um, all right, let's see. All I can really do is I'm going to... Uh, we're in summer now. Congress authorizes action. Place two American frigates on the following year turn track. So these two frigates will come here. So I'm going to get three frigates at the beginning of 1803. Um, no, no, I'm not going to do that. That's a dumb play. I should have played this one. Uh, so these don't go out there yet. Uh, I forgot I had this card. So they have to return to of their uh, gold coins because Constantinople demanded tribute. So there you have that. Okay, so all this, boom, these happen again. So uh, we've got two, four, six, and then two, four. So again, two, four, six, eight, ten dice. I've got I've got to hit at some point, right? All right, well, that's one, two at least. That's better than what we have been doing, but it's still not really that great. Um, all right, here we go. That's that. So now we're fall 1802. Um, let's go with... Um, Okay, let's go with this again. So we're going to do that to American frigates over here so we get those back. That's my action. Uh, but that is played as an event, so it gets out of the game. And next, um, now, we come here, Constantinople sends aid. Um, this doesn't happen until 1803. This doesn't happen because these guys aren't activated yet. Are there five here? No, there aren't. So we go here, and we have to turn over a card from their draw pile. So we turn over a card, and this is Tunis Declares War. So if we go to Tunis, um, we just uh, do what it says. Place three Tunisian Corsairs in the harbor of Tunis. So we have three uh, Corsairs come right here. So Tunis Declares War. So now... Next turn, when this, no, not this one, uh, this one comes up, 
this one is going to actually happen. So now we've got more Corsairs to deal with, but this one goes out of the game. And that's that. Hmm. All right, so now we go to winter 1802. And uh, we're going to... Um, we're going to discard that card, and we're going to move one, two ships, like so. And that will be what we do for our turn. Their turn happens. Yusuf uh, Karamanli happens. Pirate raid with the Corsairs from the harbor of Tripoli and the Corsairs from the harbor of each active ally. So Tunis is the only active ally. Uh, but does it say, uh, let me make sure, play if two allies are active. Okay, so that one doesn't get played. All right, it says two allies. Only one ally is active. So that doesn't actually happen. All right, two hits is fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have rolled all sixes at least once so far. Well, that's probably not going to happen, dude. All right, so that's not going to happen. We go back here. There aren't five, so we have to draw another card from here. Uh, this one, Tripoli acquires Corsairs. Place two Tripolitan Corsairs in the harbor of Tripoli. Great. They're back again. So, um, if this event is played, it's removed from the game. All right. Well, that really stinks because... Um, we go back to spring. We're now in 1803. These guys come here and drawing six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, let's see, we'll get rid of that one. Seven, eight. All right. Um, hmm. All right, so I've got. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. Oh man, I have to move three though. Oh, but that's okay. All right, cool. I think I'll do that. Okay, that's gonna stay in my hand. That's going to stay in the hand for now, too. And this is going to stay in my hand. All right. Well, okay. First things first. Um, uh, 18. Okay. Well, I think it'd be good to get rid of them. No, I think that's better. No, it's not. We're going to do a show of force. Uh, move three American frigates to the harbor of an active ally of Tripoli. Algiers, Tangiers, or Tunis return all the Corsairs from the harbor to the supply. So we're going to come over here and uh, say, uh, mess around and find out, uh, basically is what that card is. And these guys go, we don't want to mess around anymore. We do not want to find out. Um, so these guys come back over here, and that goes away. Now, we come over here, and uh, because... Oh, this is bad. All right, because uh, playable, if it is 1803 or later, it is now 1803, so they will play uh, Sweden Pays Tribute. Um, oh, no. That sucks. Um, uh 1803 or later, and there are Swedish frigates in the naval patrol zone of Tripoli. Return the Swedish frigates to their supply and receive two coins. So that really stinks. Really, 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 really. So this one is out of the game now. Golly, dude. Golly, George. All right. Whew. 
I need to see. And I can't remember. Mobilize the National Guard. Call in the FBI. <laughs> we are detecting a statistical anomaly near the Pacific coast of America. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, I don't think... Uh, let's see. American naval movement occurs when ships move into a harbor of con... The two exceptions are the harbor of Gibraltar, and where the American frigates and Tripolitan Corsairs coexist peacefully. Um, uh, or if the American active event card is a show of force or tribute paid, where all where the text will direct the removal of Algerian, Moroccan, Tunisian American gunboats from Malta may join the battle in a harbor. Naval combat also occurs at the Tripolitan, the two exceptions are the harbor of and Tripolitan Corsairs. Uh, okay, so I can, I can go in there. Ah, see? All right, here we go. I'm going to see what happens here. Um, ah, but I'm not taking... Oh, that could be bad. Uh, I gotta try. I gotta try. So we're gonna we're gonna move four native uh, more four frigates, and uh, we're gonna go. And uh, I should really be bringing some corsairs with me, um, but uh, we've got to do something here. So um, I've got two, four. Two, four, six, eight dice. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to do uh, Preble's Boys Take Aim as a battle card. And so they can roll an extra each of them can roll an extra die, so that adds basically four dice. Um, the U.S. has not won yet, nor have the Swedes worked out. Uh, that is why the Pope uses the Swiss. <laughs> more Corsairs for you would simply mean more annoying dice being rolled on which you do not hit anyway. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, this was removed from the game, so I get... Uh, it's just one round. Oh my gosh. One freaking die, dude. Such a waste of my cards. But here's the thing. They're going to only roll sixes as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Goodness gracious. Only sixes and there's nothing there either. But good night in the morning. Such bad rolling. At least I'm doing it for both sides, kind of. Problem here is that these guys go here. If I would have wiped out their forces, I would have been able to bombard here. But that's it. Oh, man. That's really bad. Because now... In the spring of 1803, um, they're going to do five Corsairs. So I only get four dice. And I don't have any dice that can help me here. Nothing. So now they're going to roll five dice. And this could be the end of the game. If they get three hits, I'm done. They got two, so I'm still okay. But good night. I'm one away from losing. I suck at this game. Dude. I'm so bad at rolling dice. It is horribly bad. Horribly, horribly bad. Um, okay. Well...
they didn't get any hits, but I had to come back here. All right. So now we go to summer, and um, I've got to knock those guys out. So we're going to do naval movement again and just move them on in. And uh, get all of my blue dice. Two, four, six, eight. Sixes. One. Gosh. And so this is what I got. And now they get to do four. Oh, I bet you it's simultaneous, isn't it? Um, naval combat. Each player rolls their dice. Yep, so they get to roll five. Sixes. Nothing. Okay. Back to that. So nothing got damaged. If they get damaged, they have to go over here. Um, if they're sunk, they go back over here. All right. At least I think that's how it goes. Pretty sure. All right. That's my summer. Now they're 1803. Uh, they don't have five, so we got to draw a card. See what happens. Troops to Tripoli. Place two Tripolitan uh, infantry in Tripoli. And that goes to their regular discard pile, which would be right back here. And then we go to fall. Uh, fall 1803. So we're going to do... We're going to do naval movement. We're going to come in here with three, and uh, we're going to go one over here to Alexandria, just in case, because I do have a card that's coming out. Spring of 1804, we can create our land forces, so we need to make sure we can be ready for that when it hits. Um, so I've got uh, six dice, two, three, four, five, six. And another hit. Uh, so, okay, this is coming back a little bit, but gee whiz. Four dice. Oh, so that damages one, uh, and that's it, because frigates can take two. So this guy comes over here, um, and then these guys come back here. was my fall. So their fall is going to be drawing another card. Troops to Dern. Uh, so this is playable if Hamlet's army has not captured Dern. So that sucks. Dang it. Uh, if Dern is controlled by Tripoli, play immediately. Yep. All right. Well, uh, says place two Tripolitans there. All right, that goes to their regular discard pile. Then we go to winter, 1803. And um, I am going to, oh man, man, man. I'm gonna discard this card to move. Two units to turn, and we're going to do a naval bombardment. Basically, it's just four rolls of sixes. Nothing. Yeah, that was a shot in the dark. That was a waste. All right, so over here, nothing happens here. Uh, yep, and we draw a card. Troops to Benghazi. Oh, man. Dude. They're coming out of the woodwork. That's there. Oh, these guys would have come back here. And that's the end of 1803. We come to 1804. These guys come over here. 
And one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the last of the deck. So at the end, at the beginning of 1805, everything's going to get shuffled and we'll come back up. All right. Um, Mm. Okay. All right. Um, my first turn for the spring is going to be uh, Bainbridge Supplies Intel. Take any card from the American discard pile. And, oh, dang it. No, it's in there. Okay, yeah. Uh, take any card from the American discard pile and either play, place it in hand or play it immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and play... Um, Uh, Constantinople demands uh, tribute. Uh, so they have to return two coins uh, back over here. So that makes it a little bit more difficult for them to win. That way, at least. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's see here. Um, that, no, 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 no. So we draw a card. Algiers declares wars. Yay. Yay. So three Corsairs in Algiers. Super. That comes out. Um, that's that. So we go to summer, 1804. Summer of 1804. Let's see here. Um, so we're going to do... Uh, we're going to do uh, Hammett's Army Created. Play if it is uh, spring 1804 or later, and there is at least one American frigate in the harbor of Alexandria. There is. Place one Marine and five Arab infantry units in the city of Alexandria. So one, two, three, four, five, and one Marine. Um, but I think one of these things um, talks about... Uh, no... No. Is it over here? Playable if Hammett's army has captured Dern. Nope, that's not it. That's not it either. Well, I, I guess I'm just going crazy. I thought there was a card out here that did something. Playable at the start of a bat land battle. Okay, no. And playable at the interception roll. No. Uh, and no. Okay, so nothing gets played against that. All right, so that one goes away. And um, now it becomes their summer 1804. Uh, no, no, no. So we draw a card and see if it gets played. The Philadelphia runs aground. Playable if there is at least one American frigate in the na naval patrol zone of Tripoli. There is at least one. Uh, so, roll uh, die, and if it's a 1 or a 2 minor damage, move an American frigate to the harbor of Malta. Um, 3 to 4, the frigate is sunk. 5 to 6, the frigate is captured. Take the American frigate as sunk and place it on one, tri uh, place one trip Tripolitan. Uh, f okay, so here we go. Uh, I really want a, ma a 1 or a 2. Yes! Yes! Is this the turning point? Don't call it a comeback. Uh, move an American frigate to the harbor of Malta. Okay. Nice. Nice. Let's see. Playable if the ground is the active event card. Uh, roll two dice. All right. This would have been played. Sorry. Um... Roll two dice instead of one and choose the preferred result. One and two! One and two! Yeah, yeah! In your faces! All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm composed now. All right. 
Fall, 1804. Um, Hammett recruits Bedouins. So playable if Hamlet's army has been created, place two additional Arab units with Hamlet's army. Or Hamlet's army, not Hamlet's army. This isn't a tragedy, although it is very close to being a tragedy. Um, <clears throat> All right, their fall. Uh, n no, no, no. Yes. Uh, Algerian Corsairs Raid. Pirate raid with all Corsairs from the harbor of Algiers. Um, and, wow. This could be really bad. I didn't have anybody there. So this could be bad. They're going to raid. So they get to roll three dice. Four, fives, and sixes. I'm sorry, fives and sixes. Oh, man. One. Golly. Golly. I don't like pirates. Pirates are dorky. All right. Winter, 1804. Uh, let's see. I am going to... Hmm. I am at a loss what to do here, y'all. Um. All right, we're going to do this. General Eaton attacks Dern. So we're going to move all of these guys over here. And they're going to attack, but I can also move three uh, frigates to the harbor of Dern. So I'll go one, two, three. And they will do a bombard first. Naval bombardment happens first. All right, all right. There's two hits, so two of them come out. And um, now we do ground combat. And ground combat, I believe, is just one die per. Uh, we'll double check, though. Ground combat. Naval combat, ground combat. Um, bum, 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 bum. Ground combat lasts one force until one force has been eliminated. Uh, American player may bombard. We already did that. Players announce if any battle cards will be played. Um, oh, I don't have the card. Um, I am going to play Marine Sharpshooters. So I will be hitting on a 5 or a 6. Um, playable at the start of a land battle. Before the battle starts, roll one die for each Arab infantry in a unit. For each 6, take Arab infantry unit and return it to the supply. So I've got to roll 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I got to roll 7 dice. And for every six, those guys go home. What? Oh my gosh. One, two, three. Okay. All right. I still have a slight upper hand. Man alive. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. So I'm rolling fives and sixes for each round of combat. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five. Oof. This is fives or sixes. All right, that's two hits. So I got knocked them down to half, but now they have four, and they're only hitting on sixes, though. Uh, one. So one guy comes out. And next round, uh, these guys go away. I've got four. One, two, three, four. I'm still rolling fives or sixes. Ah, one. So now they have two dice. Rolling sixes. Nope, nothing. And now I still have four. Fives or sixes. Got them. And they get to roll one die. Nope. Okay. So Dern has finished. These guys come back to Malta. Um, but wow, that was a heavy battle. Good night in the morning. Uh, let's see here. Naval battle uh, before the battle. Oh, oh, we 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 played this one. Yep. Um, I think that's that. Um, okay, so now we know what they're gonna do next. Uh, this one's here. Uh, their winter turn. They're going to do Constantinople. Constantinople sends aid playable if Hammett's army has captured Dern. It has. Place one Tripolitan, tri, tri, Tripolitan frigate in... Uh, oh, and two Corsairs. Oh, snap dragon. That sucks. Because that now has five back. So that's no, no bueno. All right. Uh, units in the city of Tripoli, and that is discarded. Golly, George. Um, mm. Mm. All right. Well, that was the winter. Now we go back to spring 1805. Spring 1805. So all of these get... Um, did I discard all the ones? Yeah, so I'm going to have to discard two cards. Sam shouldn't be allowed in the Navy. <laughs> Do not disgrace the Marines, Sam. I'm trying not to, dude. It's not my fault. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. What do we get? I'm keeping that one. Keeping that one. That doesn't do me any good. Keeping those. Jeez Louise, y'all. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to keep both of these, so I got to get rid of one more. What do we got here? I think I'll get rid of that one. Yep, I'll get rid of that one. So that's my discard. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, here we go. 
Um, they're all on the board, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Ooh. I think they can do that now too, can't they? Dude. All right, I'm doing naval movement. And we'll go one, two, uh, three, four, like that. And um, that will be my turn. So spring 1805, uh, I believe it said that this can happen now. So let me see, what is it, Ural, yeah. Um, 1805 to 1806, play if one ally is active. So one ally is active, so both of these guys are going to do raids. So um, I got two, four, six dice over here. Y'all and your Navy jokes. Read them and freaking weep, boys. So now he gets one roll. Nothing. Get out of my face. It's a long time coming, though. Long time coming. Now these guys over here uh, roll four dice. one and they get to roll two fives or sixes this could be bad no snake eyes nothing cool beans all right <clears throat> okay 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 Um, summer, 1805. We are going to... We are going to play Burn the Philadelphia. Burn the Philadelphia. Play if there is at least one Tripolitan um, frigate in the harbor of Tripoli. There is. Roll one die and apply the result. Then I am also going to play... Um, the Daring Stephen Decatur. Playable if either the burn the Philadelphia or launch the Intrepid as an active event card this turn. Roll two dice instead of one. Um, oh, they probably would have played this. Playable after it uh, includes a frigate. Randomly draw. Okay, so let's do that. They would have done that. They would have done it. So let's... Oh my gosh, I hope they don't take the one card. The one card. All right, here we go. Pick a card. Which one, people? You let me know. I'm. Uh, you you pick a card at random. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can just tell me which card from this side. From this side, how many cards over do you want me to go? Come on, come on. Show me what you got. This card has been played.
Looking for some interaction here, chat. The one with Jefferson on the back, David, that's not very helpful. Thank you, though, for your input. I appreciate you taking time to type that very funny sentence out. The one with Jefferson on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have Jefferson on the back, buddy. So tell me, which one? One through seven, which one? One through seven, one through seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Boom. Arr! Okay, well, that's better than the one I was hoping not to play. But uh, so we are going to be playing this one and this one on our turn. So we're going to get to roll two dice and we get to pick the more favorable results. Uh, we're trying to get rid of this frigate here. So we really want a uh, at least a three, but we could really use a five or a six. Yeah! Out of my yard, baby! All right, so that worked out well. And both of these are played. All right, so now we go to their summer. Um, oh, this, this happened already, so this goes away as well. So now do we have five Corsairs here? Nope, we sure do not. So we just draw cards. Uh, Tunisian Corsairs raid. Um, there are no tun Tunisian Corsairs. Um, so, uh, da, 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 da. so what happens here is that this just gets discarded and they use it to build their, their navy a little bit. Um... Okay. Um, on my turn, I am going to launch the Intrepid, roll one die, and apply the result on a one to two. Uh, the rate is a failure, no effect. Three to four, one Tripolitan Corsair is sunk. On a five to six, one frigate is sunk. But if there are no frigates, then two uh, Corsairs are sunk. So we'll go ahead and roll the die. And again, we're looking for a three through six. Uh, three will do. Gets rid of one. Um, oh, that was a fall. I'm going to get it. Don't worry. That was played as an event, so that goes out. This goes to fall. And now we come over here. Uh, that another doesn't have it. So we just draw a card. Moroccan Corsairs Raid. That doesn't get happened, but this comes back. All right. Um, now, Winter 1805. We're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with... Naval movement, and we're going to go one, one, two, three, four, and we're going to do a naval bombard over there. So two, four, six. <laughs> Did I get you, Strider? Did I scare you? Hello? Yes. I see you. I know you're getting bored. I know you're getting bored. I know. But there's nothing I can do about it right now. I gotta wait for a little bit. I gotta wait for a little bit. I'll play with you in a little bit. Yes, that's your scratchy spot. I know. I know. There do. All right. Now. No. Stop. Lay down. Lay down for a little bit. Just a little bit longer, dude. I'm almost dead. All right, here we go. We got two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, and eight. So I'm trying to uh, get rid of some of those dudes over there. Oh. One, two, three. Three of them are out. That's not bad. Not bad at all. These guys come back here. Right. 
That was pretty hefty. Pretty hefty indeed. Now they will do theirs. Um, they are down to just drawing cards. Second Storms. Oh, crap. All right, here we go. Second Storms, if there is a naval patrol zone with at least two American frigates, play immediately. Otherwise, add to the end of the event card line, draw another card. So there is one with at least two. It's this one right here, Algiers. So roll one die for each American frigate. The first roll, the first six rolled uh, damages. No, I'm sorry, sinks a frigate. Each additional six damages a frigate and is placed on the following year uh, for the other turn. So nothing happens. All right, so this card is only used in solitaire play, do not use. All right, so this goes into a regular discard. Um, so that was that, that was their winter. So now we go back to spring 1806. I have four turns left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So I don't have to get rid of any of these. Um, okay. I really, really, wait a minute, are you serious? Am I not going to get, I'm not going to get the card. Hmm. I'm not going to get the card. I don't think I can even win. Uh, it's going to be a draw. At the very best, it's going to be a draw because I don't, I didn't get the card that allows me to attack Benghazi. Hmm. Um. Um. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know if Kevin is still here. Kevin, is that true? Because assault on Tripoli. The card, which I do have in my hand, says, move all American frigates and gunboats to the harbor of Tripoli, move Hammett's army from Benghazi to Tripoli, and or play send in the Marines. Resolve the assault on Tripoli. Don't you draw all cards at the end. Oh, you do. You do. You do. Thank you, David. You're right. You're right. You're right. Got it. Got it. Um, but I think you still have a hand of eight. Yeah, you still have a hand limit of eight. Oh man, I was getting, I was like, I was, I was about to be incensed. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see. You draw all the car, the rest of the cards at the beginning of eighteen oh six, but I still think you have, um, you have to, uh, you still have that hand limit of eight. I don't think you have all of them in your hand. Uh, each player draws all of the cards remaining. The drawn cards are added to the cards that remained in hand from prior years. Each player has a hand limit of eight cards. Yeah. All right. So I still have to pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to get rid of three cards. All right. So what cards do I absolutely need? I need that one. I need that one. Oh, I can use that one. Um, yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, maybe four. Hmm. <laughs> don't need that, don't need that. That would be easy. This and this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Definitely not those. And I don't need that. All right. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Here we go. Spring 1806. What we gonna do? 
Um, all right, I think what we're going to do here is um, we will. Um, all right, our first action is going to be. We're going to do a show of force. So we're going to move three American frigates here. And we're going to get rid of these Corsairs. So that is that. And then it'll be their spring. So they don't have five Corsairs, so they draw a card. Uh, Algerian Corsairs raid. Um, so I don't believe this can happen. Um, not, not possible to raid with, for example, they discard it and build. Okay, so we will discard this over here and they will build a Corsair over there. And we go to Summer. Um, Uh, we will We're going to do Naval movement, and we're going to move up to four American frigates. We're going to go over to Benghazi, and two, four, six, eight. Uh, only one. Boom. And then their summer, um, there are not five. So we come over here. Mm. Art. Place three Moroccan Corsairs. Okay. Um, stupid Moroccans. I knew that was coming up too. I knew that was coming up. All right. So that blasts that idea. Oh, fart nugget. I just missed it. I just missed that window. Because now it's fall. And... Um, All right, we're going to go with uh, Thomas Jefferson, move up to eight American frigates, resolve any battles that result. So we're going to go with... Um, I was stupid, people. I was stupid. Uh, I'm going to do that.
and we're gonna go two, four, six, eight. One there. And then two, four, six, eight. Only one. Yep, that sucks. That sucks, that sucks. But they get to go with uh, three dice. Yeah, they do. Uh, one die. One uh, is damaged back to Malta. And then these guys come back to Malta. These guys come back to Malta. And this is going to be bad. I'm an idiot, people. I should have played a card. <sighs> okay, so their fall. Um, nothing happens, nothing happens. Tunisian Corsair's raid. Nothing happens. So they just bring out a ship over here. And... Frick. I'm an idiot. That's just the long and the short of it. I could have won. I could have won. Ah. The agony of a stupid defeat. I'll explain it to you in a little bit. All right, well, um, my winter stupid 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 I freaking had the treaty and I had it before they showed up if I'd have just played that instead of being stupid at doing something over there I could have won but as it is it's going to end in a draw because uh, they are going to draw a card storms uh, nobody is in a patrol zone so that doesn't even happen um, so that comes back here, and they put another thing out there. And the game ends in a draw, even though I have the stupid treaty card and not thinking straight. I made dumb decisions. Uh. The War Department regrets to inform you that your sons are dead because they were stupid. Sam snatches defeat from the jaws of victory. Exactly what happened. I'm an idiot. I overthought stuff. But here's the thing. It is possible for <laughs> it should have, we should have won. But I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't count out the number of turns I was gonna have. Because I thought I was like, even if that does happen, I'm gonna be able to get over there and and uh, quell them. Um, and uh, if it does come out, I'll still have enough time to get over here and then to get over there and then yeah. It's dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. But it's a draw, at least. It wasn't a loss. Yep. Oh, man, I'm such an idiot. Now I hope Kevin isn't watching because now he probably thinks less of me. Um, because I messed up. I messed up, I messed up. And I should not have messed up. Um, but, yeah, it would have been cool. 
I don't know why there are three blue dice. I mean, three blue cubes. Um, I guess it's possible to get more somehow, but I haven't seen a card, and I think I've looked at all of the cards, but this replaces two. Uh, Arab infantry. I mean, this not pl not replaces, but it places two additional. Uh, move. Uh, this doesn't do anything. He rolls three dice. Uh, you know, uh, O'Bannon. You know, you were talking about him earlier, Matthew. Um, you can have one of your marine units roll three dice instead of just one. But I don't see anything that adds more marines. I just see that uh, it's possible to add more um, Bedouins, Arab uh, fighters. Um, yeah, it doesn't. There isn't anything that says uh, add more. So that's interesting. I don't know why that happens like that. Oh, oh, okay, here it is. Hammett's Ar No, it's just place one Marine and five, five Arabs. So that doesn't add any more. That's interesting. Hmm, I don't know why. That's it. Unsubscribe. <laughs> you can blame me for picking card number six. Uh, no, it wasn't that. That I was just, there should be a beer card. Why? There's not a beer card. Still, it was a tense fight. It lasted longer than the start of the game suggested. Good show. Thank you, David. I, pr I appreciate that. Um, but, that, the why are there four marine dice, or marine cubes, when you only get one? And there's no way to add these. I don't understand that. I don't get it. But um, that's kind of whatever. Uh, for more Marines? Well, yeah, I know that. But you don't get more Marines from the cards. Uh, you just don't. None of the cards say add... Uh, Marine cubes. The only one is Lieutenant O'Bannon. Uh, L Lieutenant O'Bannon leads the charge. Says playable at the start of a land battle. Select one Marine, in Marine infantry unit to roll three dice instead of doing uh, instead of one during each round of combat. But it doesn't say add cubes. It just says that they get to they get to one unit gets to roll three dice. So at most you'd be adding two cubes just for aesthetic purposes. But none of the other cards allow you to add Marines. Uh, to the uh, to the table to the board. So, I well, don't know why. My name is Robin Leach. I don't know why. Um, so that is the shores of Tripoli, and I have to say, I enjoyed it. I really did. I really do enjoy this game. Uh, I really like the the solo play of it. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I, I know Jesse could play this. I don't know if she's going to enjoy it because there's a lot of, you can't play this card until this happens, or you can't play this card until this happens. And, and she, she usually doesn't like that kind of stuff in a game. Uh, she wants to just be able to do what she wants to do, uh, without any real restrictions, but there's a lot of restrictions in this game. Uh, and you can't play this card until this year or until this happens on this year or until this month of this year. And I think that might stress her out a little bit. But I know she could play this game. This is not a difficult game at all. Good night. The, the rule book is so uh, thin and precise. Uh, but this is a great game. And it also highlights a part of history that is basically dark. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this. Uh, a lot of people don't know that uh, uh, we had these kinds of uh, dealings with in, in that kind of the, uh, in, in that area of the world. Uh, so, uh, so early on in our nation's history. So I think that's a really cool thing as well. And the fact that it comes with like a, a little almanac and a historical supplement, that's great. So that has been the Shores of Tripoli. Um, I, man, I could have won, but that's okay. That means it's, it's still out there. I haven't attained it yet, so I got to play it some more to attain it. Uh, there is a send in the Marines card that add in troops. I didn't know that it adds troops. I read that card. 
I will read it again. I know it. I know that card because uh, I had it in my hand. I was going to use it for my assault on Tripoli. Um, where is it? Send in the Marines. Well, there you have it. That's why. That's where they come from. That is correct. So that would have had four. I would have had seven troops there, and I would have had all eight frigates. All right, just for poops and giggles, let's see what would have happened if we would have assaulted. If we would have assaulted. Uh, let's see. Here we go. You ready for this? Here we go. Let's just see how it would have gone. All right, so they had five Corsairs. No, they would have only had four, because I, I would have done it in the in the winter before they got that last one in, the, in, in, in their turn. So I got 16 dice there. So two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. So 18 dice on their four dice. Here we go. Looking for sixes. No, wait, let's see. Um, oh, crap. They would have played the guns of Tripoli as well. Played during a naval battle in the harbor. The Tripoli fleet may roll an additional 12 dice. Ouch. All right. What else do, would I have had here? That's going to be for the land battle. This wouldn't have been in. This, is, this was in my hand. That was going to happen. That was going to happen. And I think that's all that was left in my hand. So this is what I'm doing. I'm rolling 16 dice. This guy is gonna gonna be played later on. So 16 dice in the naval battle. Here we go. Um, and par for the freaking course. So that's one dead. So now they roll four plus 12 because of this card. So they go two, four, six, eight. <laughs> uh, all of these, which is eight, and I think that's it. Eight and eight is 16. So 16 dice, because it's four plus 12. All right, 16 dice, four plus 12, and only the first round. Sixes. One. All right, so one gets damaged. But that's it. So now we're still rolling all 16 of our dice. That was a bad roll for them. Second roll. One, two, three. That's that. They're dead, but they get to roll three back. Oh, three ones. Ouch. Okay, so that would have been that. Then we roll a 16 dice naval bombard. And only six is hit. So one, two. So two of these get removed. And then the land assault happens and that means that we're going to send in the marines so we're going to place those three guys back in there um and we're going to do lieutenant o'banion leads the charge so that's going to add uh two dice to it so we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got eight, nine dice. And we got one hit. And then they roll four. Nothing. Then... We roll, oh wait, during each round of combat. Wow. One hit. They roll three. Oof. And 
And then we have to lose one die because we got rid of an Arab. And so we've got one guy rolling three and then three more, um, three more Marines and then two uh, Arabs, better ones. Oh, nada. So now they roll two dice. Ah. So we lose the die. Man alive. I missed again. No sixes. So now they roll two again. Nothing. Again, are you serious? What in the world? Look at all these fives and fours. No sixes. What? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? So we got one guy rolling three dice and then two more. Oh no. One, blink. But now he rolls two, or they roll two. Oh, whew. okay, so they're gonna be rolling one. And then we have to roll three, and one, two, yeah. Come on. Oh no, oh no. Poop. No, he still missed. All right, here we go. Got him. Does he take somebody with him? No. All right. Well, there we have it. Boom. That's what would have happened if I was not stupid. Ah. Uh, actually, technically, this is what would have happened if I wasn't stupid. Uh, I would have definitely done that. You missed one of the yellow sixes. Ah, uh, it's okay. That was just for fun. It was just for fun. But anyway... That has been Shores of Tripoli, Fort Circle, Kevin Bertram. Well done. Well done. Well done. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I like the fact that it's simple, but it still tells that story that has been forgotten. I love it. Love it. Love it. Good job, Kevin. Um, and Fort Circle Games. That's it for me, guys and gals. I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, let's see here. The There is a Send in the Marine. Yep. Already got it. Roll one roll of the dice, more ones than sixes, and you lose. No, I'm not doing that. I would definitely roll one more. I did that most of the game. Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, I'm out of here, y'all. Thank you for joining me. I certainly appreciate you. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Why did it do that? That was weird. <laughs> that was super weird. Bye. I am actually leaving now.